AI DMX lighting. It might sound like something out of science fiction, but believe it or not, there are two companies spearheading the movement into making this reality. Limbic Media with Maestro DMX and AI Light Show. Two different devices that offer you two different options to create a dynamic light show with zero time spent programming. Let's talk about it. So one of the main reasons why you may not have heard about either of these products is because they're not being produced by the big box manufacturers that we've just known and loved for, for a long time, like American DJ and Chave DJ. These are mainly small startups. Now, even though these two products are being produced by two different manufacturers, they have a lot in common. They require no pre-analyzation of tracks. They require no pre-programming of the shows themselves. You just put in your fixtures, it listens to the music in real time and makes lighting decisions like a professional lighting tech would. So you're probably thinking, well, who is this mainly for? Well, obviously the working mobile DJ that doesn't have a lot of time to pre-program lights or pre-analyze tracks or just doesn't want to carry a second laptop around that's dedicated to just lighting, this would be a perfect solution for them. It's able to build really complicated and dynamic looking light shows without the painstaking process of sitting down and spending hours and hours, sometimes days, of DMX programming. But it doesn't just stop there. Live performers and bands can take advantage of this, and honestly, I can see a, a pretty heavy um, saturation of those particular groups getting a device like this simply because they don't know anything about DMX programming. They, all they would need to know is the very basics on how to set the channels up on the fixture itself, patch it into the device, and the device will take care of the rest. So let's start off with Maestro DMX. Maestro DMX is being developed by a company called Limbic Media, and it's gonna be a small version of a commercial size AI lighting rig that they have called Aurora. It costs tens of thousands of dollars, so this is gonna be a much scaled back version that's a lot more mobile, and of course, a lot more budget friendly for us working DJs, bands, and live performers. The device uses an app that'll be available for Android and for Apple, and there you're able to set your lighting scheme, your mood or intensity level, and then you just set it and forget it. The device takes care of the rest. It's able to detect when it's a slow song so it can respect the mood of the song. It knows when the builds are, it knows when the drops are, so it knows when to strobe and do kind of crazy things to the music. It's really sophisticated technology, and there's tons of video out there on the internet that you can go and check out. Some of it is gonna you're gonna see right here in this video. It's a really, really cool product, and it is expected to drop in May of 2023. It's currently on Kickstarter. Link is in the description. It has over, let's see, 427 backers, and it's raised $161,000 as part of its Kickstarter campaign. Pretty promising. I know that's well over what their goal was, and those numbers are as recent as November 4th of this year. Now, what if I told you that the light show that you just saw was generated by an AI on the fly without any pre-programming, triggers, or even a laptop? I'd like to introduce Maestro DMX, the world's first AI-based lighting designer in a box. Maestro DMX is truly plug and play. Maestro DMX creates incredible looking professional quality light shows that you can trust. Using Maestro DMX is easy. First, you set your fixture information and general preferences and let Maestro's AI take care of the rest. So then let's talk about AI Light Show. Now, AI Light Show is definitely designed more for DJs in mind because it does give you a little bit more manual control over what the device is doing. AI Light Show has three different modes of operation. There's mood, normal, and max. Mood is a very, well, kind of what it says, it's a mood. It's more of just a color splash. It doesn't do a whole lot. 
in coordination with the music as far as crazy things. Might do a little bit of pulsating to the beat, but nothing too crazy. It's more for slow dances, that kind of thing. Then there's normal mode. Normal mode will do a lot of different color changes, a lot of different patterns, and just a little bit more hyperactive show than what you'd get out of mood. And then you can crank it up on max, and max is gonna be that full on festival style lighting. And even then, if that's not intense enough for you, there's a manual strobe button as well. So if the box didn't do what you, what it, you wanted it to do on the last drop of the last song, you can make it strobe on the drop of the next song if you want to. It also has sensitivity knobs to where you can address the sound sensitivity and what it's actually kicking to. Do you want it to go on the bass drum? Do you want it to go on the kick? Do you want it to go on the hi-hat? It's a pretty sophisticated system. It even allows you manual control over your fog machine or even your sparklers. How you doing? I'm Doug Weber with AI Light Show and we are launching a brand new product for DJs here at the DJX 22. This is the Force 1.0. It's a DMX controller that listens to the music and responds musically without any programming for the light grid. So let me give you just a quick rundown of how this thing works. So we have the working DJ in mind. We know that everyone loves the light show. We all know that we can make a little extra money on a light show if it looks good. But it takes hours and hours of programming. And if you're connected to your laptop, sometimes it jams your laptop up. We wanted to get rid of all that, so that's what we did. So in this little box, we're listening to the soundtrack right now. You can see on the screen, we're picking up the bass, we're picking up the snare drum once the music starts again. And you're gonna see the sync button lets you know you're triggering. And once it does that, it's gonna start playing algorithms that produce patterns, and we can do that in three different modes. We have a mellow mode called mood mode. So everything's kinda just slow fades. And that you use that a lot at the beginning of the night. Maybe the dance floor is not kicking yet, but you still want some vibe. You can also slow it down and change the brightness in real time. But then now that I got a kick drum putting, I'm gonna go ahead and go into normal mode. And if we watch the lights, they're going to the kick drum. All these patterns are generated within the box. These are not programmed. We can go to max mode and you're gonna get a lot more movement. Once again, going to the pattern. But we know that DJs like to do their own thing. So we left you the ability to have your own manual strobe feature. You just press this button, and now your whole rig is strobing. You also have real-time control of the speed of that strobe. And I can go back up. We also give you a effect. We call it manual or fog. You can use this for your geysers like we have here. Or you could set that up with anything, like maybe cold sparks. As long as it's on channel 500, you've got that feature. So there you have it. Two artificial intelligence DMX lighting controllers that are due to hit the market next year in 2023. Pretty cool stuff, if you ask me. I'm not down for like artificial intelligence working its way into actual DJ software to mix for us. I'm not cool with that. But when it comes to lighting, I don't have a whole lot of time to sit down and program light shows. I just don't. I'm a father of two. I've got a wife. We both live very crazy, chaotic, and busy lives. DMX lighting is just not one of those things at the top of my list. I, if I'm gonna spend my time doing DJ stuff, I would much rather spend my time practicing my mixes and nailing down my technical skills as a DJ opposed to doing lighting stuff. It's just not in my wheelhouse. So for a device like this to come out that's gonna handle all the lighting stuff for me, I'm completely down for that. It is a piece of technology that I think is definitely going to have a place. Is this going to replace full on DMX programming? No. If you want absolute control over what your lights are doing, DMX is the only way you're going to be able to achieve that. But even though this has been 10 years in develop development, this is a huge step in an artificial AI uh, direction for mobile DJs. And if it looks this good now, and this is just the beginning cusp of this technology, just imagine what it could look like in the future. If you like this video or any other videos on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit like on this video if you are excited about AI lighting, and we will see you all next time.